Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly reading for July 2022. This is for Cancer, Sun, and Rising. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do a general Celtic Cross spread, but I also use astrology and my guides to further clarify and get very specific uh, with your reading and for your forecast and your month ahead. Now, listen, Cancer, July is a huge month, okay? Huge, 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 huge month. I counted about like 30 minor major aspects and listen, more major than minor, all right? This is going to be a big month. Now, it's going to be interesting because it's going to feel like there's like a changing of the guard mid-month, all right? First half of the month, there's a lot of planets bundled, bundled up in your sign, all right? In Cancer. The sun's in Cancer. You know, Mercury is uh, going uh, uh, into Cancer on the 4th. Um, Venus in Cancer. But listen... Uh, it's kind of like the guard in the beginning of the month is like sweet and introverted and really, you know, just, yeah, just very cancer, right? And we love our cancers. Um, but then it goes into Leo, which is like fiery and, you know, passionate and great. And, you know, just think of the lion, right? Ferocious. So, it's going to be an interesting month, especially with a lot of these different alignments. And when I say a lot of different alignments, like I already said that Mercury is going into your sign on the 4th, right? We have that full moon in Capricorn, all right? That's a huge one. That's on the 13th, Cancer. That is going to be your 7th house of partnerships, okay? This is going to be a big career month for you, all right? Because Jupiter in Aries is your in your 10th house right now. That Capricorn full moon is your 7th house of partnerships. And then at the end of the month... In in Leo, all right? That new moon in Leo, your second house, salary, income, wealth. So let's see what's going to happen for y'all. But before I even begin, Cancer, there's, um, I should also mention that Venus going, Venus is going into your sign, okay? Mid-month. And so we love that. It just feels good to feel good, right, Cancer? You're with me there? All right. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. I've done this, uh, I've given this a really, really good shuffle. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, yeah, the last thing is key descriptions. That's right. Um, or the key dates. So all the astrological dates, uh, I am going to put it in the, uh, I am going to put it in the, uh, my description. So you can follow along. And even if you don't uh, speak astrology, that's fine. Listen, I'm going to mention some things going through, um, and I'll, you know, describe them for you just so you know. All right. So cancer, without further ado, let's go get started with your reading. This is for cancer, sun and rising for July. Now, as I said, I do the traditional Celtic cross spread. It's what my private clients prefer. If you do want to book a reading with me, you know where to find me. Now, secondly, what is a secondly? Oh, yeah. If you're new to my channel, it would be great if you like and subscribe. It actually does help my channel grow. Um, and if you are a subscriber, I just want to say thank you. You really, it's really like I... It's, it means a lot to me. I'll just put it that way. It means a lot to me that you're here with me every week. So thank you again for subscribing. Um, now, Cancer. I love this. All right, I love this. So let's get started. You pulled the Four of Swords now. This is really good because it looks like you took some time to heal. All right, you took some time to heal. There could have been something that was really painful for you in the past, in the recent past. It could have been a breakup. It could have been a job loss. It could have just been a lot of stress. It could have been burnout with a job, okay? Like a new job. There's a lot of things. Maybe, you know, you weren't getting along with a family member. Whatever it is, whatever you were going through in the recent past, you spent time healing, okay? And that was really good for you. And when I say healing, this is all about resting and recovering. And it could even be resting from work, okay? Taking that time out. Sometimes we need that time out, all right? To um, maybe having a long weekend, maybe taking a mental health day, whatever it is, because it's what you needed and it was good for you. Now, here's the thing. And this is going to be cheesy, Cancer, all right? This is going to be cheesy. But the word listen is in the word silent, okay? change the letters around, all right? So this is really good because I need you to be silent to listen, all right? And it seems like you did, and it put you in a really good way because you also got the ace, you got the eight of pentacles, all right? You got this in your, uh, the heart of the spread, all right? 
very career related, very money related. And I told you from the beginning, astrologically, a lot happening there, all right? With your 10th house, second house, and even your 7th house, a partnership. So as you can see here, this is a very hardworking individual, very, very determined, very focused, really just came out of the, you know, he removed himself from the city there, all right? And he's working on the pentacles and he's pounding and pounding away. Now, here's the funny thing. And this is something that, you know, I don't know if, you know, if, well, okay, first of all, let me just tell you, this is good. This is great. This is showing like that hard work, that determination, the repetition of all the work that you've done. You're going to be very successful. Two reasons why. One, you can see in the back the castle. That's the castle that appears in the Ten of Pentacles, all right? You're going to make it. You're going to be successful. This is a really good sign. You're on your way, okay? Secondly, this is you starting to build your legacy, all right? Cancer, you're in a really good position for July. You're in a great position for July, all right? And I love that for you. Now, what's really interesting is you did get the Eight of um cups in your challenge area so that's already two eights and like i said uh eights are very active it's they're very uh active cards now what i want you to do cancer don't look back okay don't look back not now don't do it you can see that he's walking away right from the cups but the cups are full so it looks like um with this card it really just means that you've walked away from a situation that you maybe didn't want to, something that actually you liked, all right? But you knew it was better for you to walk away from it, okay? Now, what's really interesting, remember you got the four of swords healing, all right? So when this comes in, you're up in your challenge era, especially crossing your eight of pentacles, I do not want you to look back. I do not want you to regress. I do not want you to go back to whatever it is that you had walked away from, all right? You're in a good place this month, all right, Cancer? You're in a great place this month, all right? I'm not even joking. Oh, what I was also going to say, the thing that I forgot to say, um, stay till the end because I pull a card a week uh, because I clarify what's happening every week and then I pull that card and tell you what to expect each week, even though I already do weekly readings for every sign. Now, again, Back to this, don't look back, all right? You can see there's an eclipse happening here too, all right? Kind of a big thing for you um, to move away from it. So whatever it was, if it was career, whatever, you're, if you're here for career, don't go back. If you're here for love, don't go back to if it was um, someone that you had ended a relationship with, okay? If you're here for family, don't go back to, you know, maybe like a bad a situation or relationship with a family member or whatever if y'all have made peace whatever it is don't go back to it right now you're in such a good place now i love when these two are together all right so you pull the page of cups in your crown okay so this is really great especially if you're looking for love cancer Mwah. all right i just kissed the page of cups um page ushers in new change okay also the messenger but listen page is really new new energy all right page is not yet a, a knight not yet a queen not yet a king very new okay cups emotions all right you see all that water behind him so this is uh a lot of cancers are looking for uh relationships okay you're looking to finally settle down you're looking for new love but then if you're not here for love uh that card represents it's all about creativity okay all about creativity all right and this is really great you can see that um well it, 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 lots of it's so funny because it's a simple card but a lot happening the water right and then you see all the flowers on his tunic and um just uh, purity and it just blossoming it just like really good energy in this card the fish poking out him looking at that it's creativity it's ideas all right so 
that's in your head. Some of y'all are thinking about maybe forming something new, okay? Forming a new business, new partnership, uh, maybe even like penning a book, writing a novel, writing a, uh, doing some art, whatever it is. There's a lot of newness going on, all right? And, you know, I want you to be bold and daring now, all right? I don't want you to hold back. I don't want you to look back. You're in a good place. And the reason why I say be bold and daring, you got the strength card and you are looking for that strength. It came up in your root, okay? So the strength is, if you have not found that strength, it will come, all right? I want you to be open to it. One thing about the strength card that I always point out is that you can see the sign of infinity over her head, okay? This is infinite possibilities, infinite potential, but it's my way of telling you, you are fully protected by the universe, okay? Secondly, you can see that, sure, she's taming a lion, she's strong, but where does that strength come from? It is actually their interaction, it's their synergy, okay? So, to find that strength, if you haven't already, Cancer, tap into that higher being you believe in, whether it's God, whether it's the universe, it doesn't matter. Tap into that energy source now. It can also be in your physical world, all right? A friend, your mom, uh, your teacher, whatever it is, find that strength with that person and you will. And do you know why? I know you will find that strength is because you pulled the magician in your future area. The magician, as we know, is the first card in the deck. This is the beginning of a brand new journey. You are on, you're going on a brand new journey, okay? And it's because of all this hard work that you put into your career, into your passion, into your life, all right? You can see that he's holding the magician's baton pointed to the sky, what's up there, as above, so below, bringing down those dreams, making it a reality, manifesting whatever you want because you have the power to do it. You can see all the tools here on the table. Uh, you have them at your disposal, the cup, the wands, the uh, pentacles, the uh, swords. I love this. This came up in your future area. Cancer, I don't even need clarifiers here. This is crystal clear, all right? This is crystal clear. You're on your way, all right? July is going to be a very, very big month for you. Very big month for you. And I'm very happy for you. Now, let's get to your spread. All right, staff. <clears throat> uh, once again, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. Cancer, I love you. And it really does help my channel grow. Okay, so let's get to your staff. Now, as you can see, you pulled two cards that are uh, kind of the most misunderstood. So you did get the death card, okay? Now, listen, don't be afraid of this card. It's actually one of my favorite cards in the, de in the deck. All it means is transformation, baby. Former self letting go, all right? This is a new life cycle. This is very, very good, okay? The only reason people are afraid of this card is because, well, A, Hollywood painted it into this like crazy thing. It doesn't mean literal death. This just means you're entering a new life cycle and you want it, and if I have any advice for you, be ready for it, okay? This is all about transformation, but major transformation, you know why? It's because you can see that skeleton on the horse. Now, one of the reasons why people are afraid of this card is because it is a skeleton, but let me remind you, out of our body, what endures the longest? It's the skeleton, okay? This has a really long shelf life. Secondly, you can see the white rose and the flag. You can see the white horse. This is purity. You can see the sun in the background peeking out. The sun is the most powerful symbol in tarot, if not in the world. The sun has been worshipped by civilizations for thousands of years. That's how powerful the sun is, and it's breaking out in the horizon for you. Cancer, you have nothing to be worried about. Embrace this change. Embrace this transformation. Now, you did get the two of sorts, so I am not going to lie. This came up in your external factors area. You could come to a, a decision soon, okay? And I'm getting this energy that it is actually going to be a good decision, or uh, let's say two cho uh, uh, choices, okay? Or options, all right? It could be two job offers, all right? It could be two job offers. It could be two suitors. It could be something that's actually really good, all right? And the thing is, because you are a cancer, uh, it's something that you may be uh, 
you don't really want to make that decision because it's very emotional for you, okay? And it is. If you think about it at the end of the day, if you're dating two people and you have to find, if you want to move forward with one, it's hard because you're going to have to say no to one of them. Same thing with a job. If you get two job offers, it shows that you people really, really want you, but then you're going to have to decline one. And sometimes cancers, we get in the head like, did I make the right decision? Yes you are going to make the right decision because you're gonna trust your instincts, okay? Now, this is, I'm getting a lot of partnership energy and especially around the uh, 13th, remember I said that Capricorn full moon that falls in your seventh house, seventh house rules partnerships, okay? And partnerships can be, if you're here for love, love. It can be, if you're here for career, career, okay? So this came up in your external factors area, just trust your instincts, okay? Listen, Cancer, if there's anyone who's the most intuitive, it is you. I have no doubt in you, all right? I have absolutely no doubt in you at all whatsoever. Now, remember, um, around that full, the time of the full moon, we have a bundle of planets in your sign. We have the sun in your sign. Uh, and then Mercury, right? Mercury's in your sign since July 4th, all right? Communication. So again, you're fine. Just be able to make that decision. Don't avoid it, all right? It could be very emotional to you, um, but take off that blindfold, all right? And move forward because everything is just looking great for you. Um, Knight of Pentacles, listen, I told you from the very beginning, there's going to be a lot of emphasis in terms of your career and uh, partnerships and even salary this month, okay? Knight of Pentacles is, you're in a position where now you're ready to see growth, all right? Especially financially. You can see the Knight of Pentacles here, all right? He is, uh, it's all about, it's money, Pentacles are, is, mon is money, all right? Wealth, assets, all right? But this is watching things grow in a slow and steady way, all right? Think about a stock. When you invest in something, you're not gonna see something, you're not gonna see whatever overnight. It takes time, all right? And that's what you're hoping for now. You're starting, you want to see that stability. You want to see things grow in a slow and steady way. You want to feel that security, all right? And I love that for you. Now, you got the devil. This is really interesting, okay? Because you did get it in your final outcome card. Now, here's the thing, or the final outcome area. Here's the thing. Sometimes we want something so bad, we'll do anything for it, all right? That's, you know, a good thing, but we don't want to do anything bad to get it, all right? Secondly, Cancer, with the devil coming up in your final outcome area, it just means that you may have to give up something, all right? You may have to give up something that um, you know is holding you back. All right, and it is, listen, the devil, you can see the two people chained to the devil here. You can see those crazy vampire bat wings sucking all the energy out. This is just a card of like bad addictions, bad patterns, bad way of thinking. So there may be something you have to let go this month, but it's going to be the best for you because of what you're letting go is something that's not good for you, all right? Something that is just really not uh, helping you in any way. Whether it's, you know, it can be something, and again, Cancer, I know how sensitive y'all are, and I know how hard that's going to be, but it could be something, um, even if it's like a friend who might be a little toxic, right? Or it could be something like if you spend a lot of time scrolling on your uh, iPhone or, or whatever uh, through social media, you don't get anything done. You're not being productive, all right? So it's about awareness around those things. It's about awareness and letting those things go. Now, as I promised, Thomas Cancer, I pull a card a week. So I am going to do that for you the first week of July. I've already told you that Mercury is going into your sign. I love that. Just be very intuitive and, you know, even emotive with your approach in terms of communication. I have no doubt that you are, uh, will be that way, but this is really good for you with Mercury being in. You're, you're going to have a lot of uh, things are going to sm work smoothly for you in terms of communication. Now, remember also Mars is going into Taurus. So what that means is Mars has left Aries. That was Mars in its domicile. That was very action, 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 action. 
very fiery now it's a little bit more stable things are um you know there's more of like a steady momentum okay and so that's really good um anything else no that's that's all i'm gonna tell you and let's go ahead and get started wow you got the eight of wands okay so first week of july things are gonna work things are gonna go fast for you okay the ones look at them they're just like arrows zipping through the air things this is the universe saying hey we see you we hear you we're going to help we're going to make things move fast for you and that's really great and i love that all right you could get some sort of message i'm i'm getting the message that you could get a message all right the first week of july now the second week of july listen venus is trining saturn on the 12th that's really good that's, I want you to initiate something around that time because that is a good day to initiate like long-term commitments. Um, but again, the main, the main thing for the second week is that full moon in Capricorn. Now, the full moon in Capricorn, again, I, I said is in your uh, house of partnerships. Oh my goodness, you got the sun. I already told you how important the sun is. Some tarot readers say this is the best card in the deck. Listen, I'm not going to lie. It's in my top three. I have my favorites, but it is the one of the best cards in the deck, if not the best card in the deck, you have the full abundance of the sun, all right? This is all about abundance. This is, what does the sun do? It gives life, it gives birth, it shines upon you. Like I said, it's been worship for thousands of years. That's how important the sun is. Something's going to come to fruition. You're gonna see a lot of growth, a lot of potential. You're gonna see the sun exposes things too, right? There's a lot of light there. So you could see a lot of things happen around that, especially around partnerships. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something around partnerships around that time. Also, Venus is entering your sign, okay? Second week of um, uh, second week of July, that's really good for you, all right? So, v I mean, well, it, let's just say it feels good to feel good. That's what Venus and Cancer is. Now, third week of July, that's when things get a little bit more fiery. That's when Mercury enters Leo. The sun enters Leo. Boom. You got the Hierophant. This is really great. I love that for you. I mean, this is huge Taurus energy, but this is all about wisdom, okay? This is e even structure and stability, all right? Things are going to feel a lot more stabilized for you. I love that for you. But in a place where you can pass along your wisdom to other people, especially if you've taken on a role uh, as a leader, okay, in a leadership role, this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful week for you. Now, last week of July. Now, Cancer, we know that you do have uh, that new moon um, in your second house of income, okay? But we also have uh, a bunch of planets in Leo, okay? And then July 31st, last day of July, the sun is trining Jupiter, the best day of the, oh my gosh, best day of a month. You got the Ace of Swords. You're going to have a major breakthrough. You're going to have a major breakthrough. Cancer, if... I were the type of person to say this is the best reading so far this week. I am not that person, but there you go. Uh, Cancer, I love you so much. I love you so much. You have so much to look forward to. You have so much to look forward to. All right. Um, again, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like the down there and then subscribe. And I will see you next week, Cancer. I love you. I'm just going to say that one more time. I love my Cancers. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.